So how is offense creeping into the body of Christ? Personally, I think that we do not guard our hearts from it. We, we guard our hearts from a lot of things. And as a matter of fact, I'm just going to quick read this. Proverbs 4 and 23 says, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. And I think that what happens is, you know, we, we hear these things, you know, we got to keep our hearts guarded. You know, it's like, watch what you see, watch what you hear, watch what you do. But to be honest with you, it's offense is something that if we are not paying attention and we are not guarding our hearts in that area, it is sneaky. It's sneaky and it creeps up on us. And so I, I wanna just um, go over just a few things that I, I believe will help us to keep our heart guarded from being offended. Some things that we can pay attention to in, our, in what we're doing and what is happening in our lives. Um, one of the first things is, is we need to be aware of our thought life. Where, what are we thinking? Second Corinthians 10 and five says, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. If you find that, you know, your thought life is you're focused on something, you're frustrated about something, you're frustrated about something, maybe somebody said, somebody did, and you're going, it, it keeps coming back to you. It go, and it's going over and over and over again in your mind and you can't get rid of it. That's probably your first point that something's happening, frustration setting in and, and, and offense is, is starting to creep its ugly head up. And here's the thing, offense is not good, but if you deal with it and if you take care of it, it will not lead into unforgiveness because offense undealt with will always, always lead into unforgiveness. And that's where, that's like, that's danger. Right there, danger, people, danger. And every time I...